Welcome to the Kistler training program on video, available to all our customers at Kistler.com. This tutorial explains how to correctly install direct pressure sensors for cavity pressure measurements. We show you how to place these types of sensors into a mold using spacer sleeves. First, you should make sure that the delivery is complete. The box should contain a checking tool, a standard length spacer sleeve, the sensor with cable, a quick start manual, an ID plate. Next, you should consult your mold drawing and check that the sensor location is precisely identified, that using a spacer sleeve is the appropriate installation method, that the cable routing is clearly evident, that the exact connector position is marked. Our example shows an insert plate where the sensors will be installed. The first step is to check the sensor bores using the appropriate checking tool. There's a tool for each sensor type. You insert the checking tool into the hole. There has to be a sliding fit. These holes are too tight. You have to return the insert for rework. The sensor must not be installed until the bore is corrected. You will notice a smooth and easy fit immediately. Here the bores are perfect and you can continue with your installation. However, there are cases in between. It's possible that the checking tool fits, but only just. This is still not good enough. That's when you use the checking tool to lap the hole. You apply some lapping compound to the tool, which now becomes a lapping tool. Don't use force while working the hole. It's not necessary. On the other hand, don't give up too soon. The procedure will take some time. The duration of this sequence is more or less realistic. The lapping process may leave some residues, which you remove carefully. After this, you clean the plate's surface using compressed air. Step 2. You determine the required length of the spacer sleeve using a vernier or a depth gauge. These types of sensors have collars. Next, you measure the height of the collar using a vernier or a micrometer. You determine the spacer sleeve length by a simple formula. Hole depth minus sensor collar height. Allow an additional margin to make sure that the sensor is not preloaded. To trim and grind spacer sleeves, use a cutter grinding machine if possible. Now you can move on to the sensor installation. Kistler provides special extraction insertion tools for all types of sensors. They allow the sensor to be inserted into the bore very comfortably. However, take special care not to damage the sensor's O-ring. Probe easily. Do not apply any force. Next, you fit your length-adjusted spacer sleeve. Check the clearance with a straight edge or ruler. To prevent cable damage, please check the direction of the slot in the spacer sleeve. To complete the sensor installation, you fit the tool insert, now containing the sensors, into the mold bolster. Finally, you attach the tool insert to the mold. Make sure all cables are numbered. With the sensors in place, you should first check the recess for the connector. Make sure there's enough clearance to avoid short circuits of the connector shield. Now you can route the cables through their channels. It's vital to cover them using plastic or rubber strips and to secure them with clips or small plates. In some tools, there are holes for cable routing. In any case, make sure that corners and hole edges are deburred to avoid damage to the cable's insulation coating. 
It's very important that you identify each cable using numbered markers. Our unique technology allows you to simply cut the cables to length. However, don't cut too tightly. Allow for some slack. Now you can connect the cables to the connector. Our multi-channel connectors come with easy-to-use screw clamps. All you have left to do is carefully arrange the cables. Place the connector in the recess and screw it on. Make sure the cap is installed too. In some cases, your mold has open cable channels. To prevent damage, you should protect them using a metal cover. Make sure it's a tight fit and the mold surface is clear. To be sure that the installation was successful, you make use of Kistler's sensor testing equipment. First, you check the insulation. The bar has to be well into the green field. If it's not, insulation is insufficient. The sensor requires service. Finally, you check the sensor's sensitivity. If the indicated value is too low, the sensor is either installed too tightly or it's faulty. If it consistently stays within the recommended range, everything is fine. Congratulations.